I've seen a lot of you ask me in the comments, why do you crash this driver? Do you hate them? Times yes. Sometimes no. No, I just crash them because I have other cars for them, but I'm here now to do a tier list on my favorite drivers and my least favorite drivers. And I'm going to rank them from love to cool to neutral, dislike, and I don't think I'm going to put anyone in hate because that's just a very strong word. So we're going to just change that to strongly dislike. Now we have a lovely tier list here and we're going to go ahead and start from number order. So we're going to go down to double zero all the way up to 96. We're going to go and start off with Mr. Quinn Half for Starcom Racing. Well, he sits in the neutral category. Uh, I don't really have anything for or against uh, Quinn. I wish if Landon Castle was still in the double zero, the double zero would be in cool because uh, Landon was Landon probably deserved that right a little bit more. Next up is Kurt Busch. Uh, I'm neutral for Kurt Busch. I like to see him win. Uh, I'm, I'm never upset if he wins or anything like that. You know, I'll still applaud him if he's there. I'll, I'll root for him and stuff. But, uh, you know, Kurt Busch, a, a pretty solid driver in my opinion. Next up is the first of the Penske cars. Uh, whew. Uh, Brad Keselowski, I dislike him. I don't know what it is, but I just, I'm not that big of a fan of Brad Keselowski. I don't know. He's not, he doesn't have much going for me, really. So, there's not much there for me to like him by. Uh, in a way so you know it's Brad Keselowski he's done some things in the past we've all gotten over it but now there's just I don't know for me it's just kind of eh. next up is the three of Austin Dillon he's gonna go in the neutral category Austin Dillon is one of those drivers like just like Kurt Busch I'll root for um you know if there's nobody else left but I'm not upset if he wins I'd be happy if he wins kind of thing so uh once again uh Austin Dillon is gonna be one of those drivers it's kind of just in the middle there for me uh, Kevin Harvick, uh, much to a lot of people's surprise, he's the first one to go in the cool category. Uh, I'm surprised that not many people like Kevin Harvick, but gr granted as well because he's won nine races a season. I like Kevin Harvick. He's one of my favorite driver, my most favorite drivers, and he's also my brother's favorite driver, so we have to kind of get along in some way, shape, or form. But if my grandfather saw this video, he'd absolutely hate me because he does not like Kevin Harvick. Uh, next up on the list is Mr. Ryan Newman, the Rocket Newman, and he goes in the neutral category. Once again, nothing much going for me to like him very much. Uh, you know, he's a decent driver. You know, I, I hope he does well, but he's just not really... Uh, like, like Kurt Busch, like Kozlowski, like Austin Dillon, there's not much going for me to like Ryan Newman. The first one to go in the love category is Mr. Tyler Reddick. He was my favorite Xfinity driver coming up with the two championships in a row. t Red got it done. Oh, yeah. And uh, got himself a pretty nice finish in Bristol when I was there. So eating at Cheddar's then was a really good move. Next up is Chase Elliott. He's the second one to go in the cool category. One of my favorite drivers as well, Chase Elliott. Uh, and I say one of my favorites. I have a lot of favorites, but my top three favorites will go in love. Next up on the list is Eric Almarola. He's going to be going in the neutral category. Uh, once again, uh, not really much going for him. I saw his second uh, career win at Talladega, so that was pretty cool. But my absolute favorite driver is Denny Hamlin in the number 11 of FedEx Toyota. Got himself a controversial win in Talladega, but, uh, you know, the funny thing is, um, the, the thing that annoys me most about the Talladega finish is not even how he got the win. It's the fact that I usually go to this Talladega race every year, but this year they sold out of tickets before I could buy them. And, of course, the one race that I don't go to Talladega is the one that Denny Hamlin wins. And I've never seen Denny Hamlin win a points race in person. That's why I get so bittersweet every now and again when he gets oh so close like he has at Talladega the past couple years. I've been like, okay, you're just teasing me. You're teasing me, but soon you're going to get the win here at Talladega. I'm going to get to watch you get a win at Talladega. No, no, I'm not because he won this weekend while I wasn't there. Anyways, next up on the list is Ryan Blaney, the guy I've seen half of his career wins into the neutral category. Uh... I don't really have much to go by. Uh, like, I, this is, this is going to say be the same verdict for every single person that gets put in the neutral category. But, like, I mean, I think Ryan Blaine is a pretty cool driver, but he's just not one of my favorites, you know. Clint Boyer goes in the cool category. Clint Boyer is one of the uh, funniest, is the funniest dude in the garage area. Second to him might be Kyle Busch, but, uh, we'll, 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 you know. We'll get to Kyle in a second. Um, but uh, Clint Boyer, uh, one of those drivers that's, uh, you know, always got, got that pep in his step. He's always cracking jokes whenever he can. He's always, you know, a high-witted. You know, he's just 
it's Clint Boy, okay? Uh, so he's he's up there. He's in the cool category. Brennan Poole, uh, he goes in the neutral category. Justin Haley, um, if this was an Xfinity Series tier list, he'd go in love, but he goes in cool. He is my current favorite Xfinity Series driver, so he'll just go into cool for now. Um, but once he gets to cup, he'll probably go into the love category. All right, so next up is Chris Bush, or he goes in the neutral category as well. Once again, nothing much going for him. He's kind of just there for me. Um, and Kyle Busch, the one that everyone's thinking he's going to go... Whoop. No, no, actually, no. Kyle Busch goes in neutral for me, too. Um, like, Kyle Busch always cracks me up with uh, with his interviews and stuff. Kyle Busch is just him. He's, he's Kyle Busch. <laughs> when it comes to his, there's no one else like Kyle Busch when it comes to his interviews and how he races and how he talks. I mean, whenever he gets a little bit of damage, everything is, it's killed, guys. The, the car is killed. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but something about Kyle Busch makes me love him, but also makes me kind of not like him in a way. So he goes in the neutral category. Next up is Martin Truex Jr. He goes in the cool category. I really like Martin Truex Jr. Uh, you know, he's never been one of the uh, highest levels of uh, like likey, likeness, I guess, uh, for me. Uh, because he does complain a lot, but I do like um, his cars. I do like him, his driving style as well. Um, but other than that, eh, Martin Truex Jr., he's a pretty cool dude. Eric Jones, uh, he goes in the neutral category. He's on the higher end of the neutral category as well. Matt DiBenedetto, same kind of thing for the 20 of Jones. I think I'm actually starting to like DiBenedetto a lot more now uh, than I used to because, uh, you know, I was really, or I guess it's probably about about the same because I really liked DiBenedetto uh, when he was driving the 83 car um, because he, I did make him win <laughs> in, in my Darlington race of season one. So, you know, uh, I, I, either way, I really like DiBenedetto, just like Jones, he's on the higher end of the spectrum for the neutral category, uh, so he's just on the brim of the cool category, but uh, not quite there. And the first one to go in the strongly disliked category is Joey Logano. I um, I don't think, I think a lot of people are going to agree with me on this one. I'm sorry if you're a Joey Logano fan, but uh, personally, I'm just not that, I'm just not a fan of him. I, I just really don't like Joey Logano. Maybe it's because my favorite drivers are Denny Hamlin, and then you have Chase Elliott and Martin Strikes Jr. up there. Y y you know, it probably has something to do with it. Um, <laughs> but uh, Joey Logano, not very high on the list. William Byron rounds out the trio of drivers that I absolutely love to root for in the NASCAR Cup Series. Denny Hamlin, Tyler Reddick, and William Byron. These three are my go-to drivers every week. Uh, so, uh, a couple of these guys I'm just going to put in here, uh, like, in the neutral section, because I'm not really going to have any opinions on them. So, you've got uh, David Reagan, you've got uh, all these uh, <laughs> Rickway Racing cars. Um, so, they're all going to go there. Uh, we'll also put uh, Daniel Suarez there as well. Um, so, yeah, those are just the back markers, really, that uh, are in the neutral category. Once again, nothing really going for them, so they're kind of just there. Uh, next up on the list is Corey LaJoy, and he's going in the neutral category as well. Uh, I don't have much going for Corey LaJoy. Uh, he's a pretty cool dude. He seems to know what he's talking about and, and uh, seems to know what he's doing. So, uh, you know, I like him. I definitely like Corey LaJoy, but he's just not one of my favorites. Uh, same goes for Michael McDowell. A lot of people don't like him, but Michael McDowell will go in the neutral category. Uh, same thing for Ryan Priest. Uh, he's going to go in there as well. Same for John Hunter Neem uh, Nemechek. He's... He's always been one of my favorite drivers, but once he got the cup, it kind of just lulled out. Uh, Cole Custer, he goes in the neutral category. Uh, same thing for uh, Kyle Larson. Uh, Bubba Wallace, he'll go in the cool category. Um, you know, I, a lot of people have their opinions on, on Bubba Wallace and everything. Uh, but if, if you just rate him on just his driving style and, and, and everything like that, don't pull any other cards or anything like that he's a pretty good driver he, he you know he loves what he's doing he's passionate about it and that's what i like about it ricky senhouse jr also goes to the cool category i've always really liked ricky senhouse jr uh especially uh you know back mid 2010s i, I don't know what it was but uh it's just it, it was just interesting um and i and it's kind of funny because i actually remember because uh stenhouse's um was it zest car i believe was it was the first ever gen 6 car a diecast car I bought. Uh, I don't know why I remember that, but I just do. And same thing for Jimmy Johnson. He goes in the cool category. To be expect seven-time champion. You know, I really wish him well, especially on his exit from the Cup Series. But uh, I don't know, man. His luck's just not really got him going. Got anything going for him right now. So uh, hopefully he can turn it around here soon. But the Jimmy Johnson 
is in the cool category. Brendan gone. Oh, how can I forget the classic interview? Mom, I'm fine. It was just an easy flip from Talladega. Oh, man, that was great. I absolutely love Brendan Gaughan. This is Mr. Timmy Hill. He goes up in the cool category. Yeah, Timmy. He actually got himself a really nice finish in Talladega this past weekend. Uh, Ross Chastain, uh, a lot of people love him. A lot of people don't like him. But he goes in the neutral category for me. I don't really have much going for him other than the uh, the winning celebration of him throwing a watermelon onto the uh, star finish line. Other than that, not really much going for him. All right, so we're down to our final two drivers of the video. And it's uh, Alex Bowman and Christopher Belt. So, you have Bowman. He's going to go in the neutral category. Not much going for him. So, uh, Alex Bowman, of course, he's going to the 48 next year. Um, I, I don't I don't really know what to say about that, to be honest with you. I was not expecting to see Bowman go to the 48, but, uh, I mean, Mr. H was right. <laughs> he, he, he did say that the driver who was going to the 48 was in the playoffs this year. So, Last but not least, Christopher Bell. He goes to the cool category. He is the final one of this episode. And uh, honestly, Christopher Bell was one of my favorites in Xfinity as well. I loved he, uh, he and Tyler Reddick going at it. Uh, same for Cole Custer, but he just really hasn't been there for me uh, really in the in the uh, Cup Series. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been my tier list for how I would rank my likings for the drivers in NASCAR in 2020. And as you can see, uh, a wide arrangement of uh, cool and neutral drivers. Um, but, you know, I guess that's probably pretty n uh, normal for a lot of NASCAR fans. So, uh, yeah, this is it. Uh, this is my tier list. Uh, feel free to uh, leave yours in the comments below. Or just, in general, tell me what your changes would be to this list. But other than that, uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace!